Bill and I became owners of an OHL hockey team. It was back in 2006 and at that time um, we had a primary business that we were selling. We had to do some things different from other teams in the OHL because first and foremost we came to an area that we didn't know how well we were going to be received. We've tried to just entrench ourselves in the community, all aspects of the community. Our relationship with our fans are everything. Um, they are, uh, and, and the neat thing about being in this small community is, is we've got our fans, uh, we've got our corporate partners, we've got our different clients, but what we soon found out is because the community is so small, these same people are the people that we go and buy our cars from, you know, we buy our homes from, we go, we see them grocery shopping on Saturday afternoon, we go to church with them on Sunday morning, so all of a sudden you've got fan, you know, client, corporate sponsor, well you know what, they've all ended up being friends. Walking in and speaking with them, it was a great idea of opening your eyes to a different type of business and a different type of solution on what they would have. What their ideal solution was, what they wanted, what their needs were, and meeting the exact needs that they, that they wanted and tailoring a solution that was custom to them. Kojiko's proximity and expertise played a huge role in our choice of supplier. They've got um, such an acute knowledge of telecommunications. They are um, a phone call or an email away and whenever we have a problem, I mean literally they would be there in like literally minutes for us. We want to worry about the hockey side. We don't want to worry about the telecommunication side and Rob's been great because he comes to us and he helps us with what we need and he comes to us with solutions and he's accessible and he's available and I mean Kojiko is made a point of um, not just being a supplier, um, they're a partner and um, they've just, they've made our life easier.